I'm Mel Flight, Collection Discovery Assistant at the Caroline Simpson Library. Let's take a quick peek at our current display, Queering the Interior, London, New York, Sydney, 1882 to 1929. This showcase deals with two really fascinating individuals, Oscar Wilde and Elsie de Wolfe. Elsie de Wolfe was, in fact, the first professional interior decorator in the United States. And in 1913, she published this wonderful book, The House in Good Taste. These two individuals might seem quite different, but were in fact united by the belief that an interior could reflect who an individual was, that your design choices could make a big statement about how you lived and who you were as a person. While Oscar Wilde is better known as a witty and clever writer, he did in fact in 1882 undertake a series of talks in the United States about interiors and your home. And this little display I suppose highlight some of the wonderful objects in our collection that relate to the aesthetic movement which was really supported by Wilde in those talks. In 1929 a really fascinating exhibition took place in Burdekin House in Sydney. The exhibition was mostly about antique furniture but the top floors of Burdekin House were used to display a series of rooms designed by leading modernists in Sydney including Adrian Faint and Roy de Maestra. Adrian Faint was well known in the 1920s for the covers he produced for Home magazine but he was really instrumental in the exhibition in producing an interior, a man's study or bedroom that really spoke to all the latest ideas in modern furniture and interiors.